This is question seven from the CCEA pass paper from 2022. It's A2 Pure. Um, let's take a wee look then. So this is question seven. So it's integration generally. Uh, integrate the following with respect to x. So it's the integral of sine squared x. I always tell my class that you can't integrate kind of powers of sine and cos. Work our way up and you need some sort of cheat to do it. So we're going to use the um, the cos double angle formula and change this round so let me think then what it needs to become so we know that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x I think rearranging that to get the sine squared x on its own take this over to here it gives you a half minus a half cos 2x and the deal is that's really complicated to integrate this isn't so bad to integrate even though it looks messier so I can rewrite my question as the integral of a half minus a half cos 2x dx integrating then a half remember say you integrate the number 4 it becomes 4x so that then becomes a half x and then this is a wee bit messier, so let's check and see. So it's cos, and it's minus cos, so it's going to go to minus sine. The fact that that's a 2 means we're going to divide, so it'll kind of be a half of the minus sine, but there's already a half there. So it's minus a quarter sine 2x plus c. Part b, the integral of x e to the 3x dx. This is an integration by parts question, and so we need to set it up in such a way. So I would write u is x, and then dv by dx is going to be e to the 3x. And we hope by using parts it gives us an easier integration to do after we've got it all tidied up. Differentiating this, I get du by dx, which just gives me 1. And then v, integrating that, is going to be a third e to the 3x again I hope that makes sense there's a wee bit of kind of backwards differentiation going on there I suppose so my formula and so the integral which we sort of had before now becomes uv so that's going to be a third x e to the 3x minus the integral of v du by dx so it's going to be 1 times this so it's a third e to the 3x dx. We have changed a messy integral into one that's very doable. It might look easier, but it certainly is. Uh, and so that gives me a third x e to the 3x. Then integrating this, the same way we just kind of integrated there, we get the third, so it turns into a ninth minus a ninth e to the 3x. And as ever, remember your plus c. Um, Use the substitution u squared equals x minus 2 um, to work this one out. So again, we have a couple of different ways of doing this. Um, x then is u squared plus 2. Differentiating that, you get dx by the u is going to be 2u. You know, people do these different ways. Uh, but my integration then becomes x squared, so it's going to be that only squared, u squared plus 2, all squared, and then that there is the square root of that, so that's just going to be a u then over here. Now it's, we're changing this dx, so it's dx by the u, du, so it's going to be Again, people set this up different ways, but that's okay. And I'm going to change that then for a 2u. Let me see. The integral of u squared plus 2, all squared, all over u. dx by the u, I know is 2u. u, du. Those use cancel and make our life a little bit easier. And effectively, what are we going to do? We're going to multiply at this bracket here. And then we're going to times everything by 2. I'm going to let you just do that. And you can take my word for it. At the end of it, 2u to the power of 4 plus 8u squared plus 8 
U. So you see what I've done there. I guess I've kind of put the two brackets U squared plus 2 upon U squared plus 2. Once I multiply that out, it times everything by 2, and we've ended up with that. Uh, we can now integrate. This is dead straightforward for us to integrate. Add 1 to the power. What am I doing? I'm going to erase her. I shouldn't have the integral sign there. I hope you have spotted my mistake. So that's a 5. And divide by the new power, which is 5, plus 8, u, add 1 to the power. Divide by the new power, which is 3, plus 8, u, plus c. And then this is kind of messy, subbing, subbing this back in. But that's okay. We know that u squared is x minus 2. So we know that u is x minus 2 to the half. I guess it's kind of going to be our easiest way then of kind of subbing that in. So if I have then u to the 5, which is what I have down here, can you see that? So u to the 5 is going to be x minus 2 all to the power of 5 over 2. So this is going to go 2 fifths x minus 2 to the power of 5 over 2 plus 8 over 3 x minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 8 x minus 2 to the power of a half. Now you can if you want have a wee square root sign in there and all to the power of 5 and so on. Either of those is fine and remember then your plus c at the end.